This video is sponsored by studywebdevelopment.com, which gives you whatever you need to start your own side hustle and becoming the ultimate freelancing developer. And this will include a 100 page guide on how to do your own side business, give you tips on SEO, and even give you website templates to help you keep going right away. Check them out in the link in the description below. And now please enjoy the video. Usually when you see videos like a day in the life of a developer, people film the entire day and they don't really say much of what they really do. But as for me, for this particular video, I want to do a little different. What I want to do is actually tell you how a full day in my life is like without actually filming the entire day. So yeah, I asked people on Instagram, what is it they want to know about what a full day in the life of a developer is? And a bunch of people asked me questions, which is pretty amazing. So thank you guys, first of all, for even helping me make this content in the first place. But anyway, as you can tell, I'm actually in the office right now. It's pretty much empty. There's only one guy behind me. My boss is still here in his office. It's about 6 p.m. now, and I'm about to head out. So I figured before I head out, instead of filming at my house like I usually do, why not make another video here in the office? So by the way, if you don't want to listen to this entire video, I'll put a list of all the questions and the timestamps down below for you to check out. So you can just check out any questions you want to listen to. So enjoy the video. Hope you guys like this. First question, is it work stressful every week? Um, yes and no. I think it really depends on the sprint of that week. Um, or really what projects you have. Like for example, right now, the last few weeks, and the next week or this week is actually really slow. Um, to the point that uh, my boss would even say, you know, if there's nothing to do, look at things you're just curious about in regards to our code base, or even to the point where he even told me to just study code. Which is pretty cool because I've never been able to do that here at the office because it's usually really busy. But because we're at the end of the year, it's very slow right now. But, Towards the last two weeks, which is Christmas week and New Year's week, my boss told me we're gonna be crazy busy. But in regards to stressful, it's not stressful every week. I think it also depends on the company. If you work for Amazon, you're gonna be very stressful from depending on the department you join. Work for Facebook, oh, it can be very stressful from what I've heard. But if you work for like a company like here, an entrepreneur, or you work for another small company, it really depends on the culture of the company, the leadership, and etc. And I really feel like I hit a gold mine with the leadership here, so that's pretty exciting. So for me, no, it's not stressful every week. But there are times when it's really busy, yes, it could definitely be stressful. And that's with every job. All right, next question. How many hours do you put in each day at work and how many self-studying after? So I work eight hours a day. I work from nine to six, Monday to Friday. Sometimes I'll come in at seven, sometimes I'll come in at eight so I can leave a little earlier. But I generally work about nine to six, Monday to Friday. Now, I do not code every single day after work. It really does depend. For example, it has been slow recently. So I'm studying code at work, or actually, because it's also been slow, I've been studying a lot of React.js after work, which is pretty cool. But in regards to how many hours of code I actually study per week, I would say about 10 hours, 10 to 20 hours of code after work every week. But please note, that's like very like, sometimes I'll study an hour in a day, and then on the weekends, I'll study like six to 10 hours. So it really depends on, on really my schedule for that week. How often do you run into a situation where you feel like, how the F do I do that? Um, Not recently, but before the last two weeks, I felt like every single day. So what I've noticed is that within the last couple months, um, I've been receiving very different tickets. A lot of bug fixes, of course, but my boss has been assigning me tickets to do things I've never done before. And what's made it very difficult is that it forced me to learn the code base that much more. Because I got so used to doing literally the exact same things all the time, all, a lot of these things became second nature, but now I started doing things that required me to go into my SQL database. Things that required, required more actual backend work. That required me to look at more PHP. And in regards to like solving bugs, I felt like that's something that I honestly not felt. That's something that I lack in a lot. But because of all the bugs that my boss has been assigning to me, I've been able to uh, improve a lot, to be, to be honest. But yes, I, I run in that situation pretty much every single day. If you could, would you encourage entrepreneurs to adopt apprenticeship or pretty much internships? Um, I, we do have a few interns for other departments. Now, in regards to development, that would be really hard to do because our code base is very, very, uh, it's pretty complex. I mean, now it's easy for me because I'm so familiar with it. Not easy, but I'm more familiar with it. Um, but yeah, I would. I think it would be cool for us because to have an intern in the tech department or in the engineering department because teaching others actually helps you become that much more better at development. And it shows you what you do and do not know. Uh, which is why I'm even making a tutorial now. I'm making an HTML, CSS, JavaScript tutorial um, to help people really 
gain real world experience or to help you prepare for the real world, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Do you get paid monthly? No, I get paid every two weeks. Oh no, I get, yeah, I'll just, let's just say every two weeks. I'm not gonna say the exact days. <laughs> All right, so Deanna is asking, can we get an updated day in the life? Yes, I'm doing a day in the life of a remote developer. I'm filming that on Wednesday when I work from home on Wednesday. So you will get it very soon. What is your morning ritual, routine, browse the news, walk around, etc.? Morning ritual, I don't really have one. Um, I mean, I come to the office. I turn on my computer, I set it up with my laptop, connect it to my monitor, um, connect my earphones to my AirPod Pros. By the way, I just bought these, they are freaking amazing. Connect my AirPod Pros to my Mac Pro, listen to music, and then I always make hot chocolate every single morning. I drink about like two cups a day, if not three, don't tell my mom. <laughs> um, but other than that, um, actually, I used to have a routine where I used to have to read blogs, but now, because I'm so much more focused now, when I come in, I'm able to just jump right into my project. So, um, but that took me a while to do though. Um, and it's because I could say I'm a lot more confident than I was before. Confidence is really huge when it comes to development. My boss gives me a lot of confidence that I did not have prior to working here. Um, how do you deal with burnout yearly? Um, I think in regards to burnout, it's very real. Um, so what I did is that I used to study code like crazy after work all the time, but I went from that to just studying code um, a lot less. So I honestly took like, I took a few months of just staying away from studying code after work and that helped me a lot. So knowing when you need to take a break and not pushing yourself too much. What is your least favorite part of your work day? I would say least favorite part of my work day. I don't really have a least favorite part because it's very consistent. Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know, what is that? There's nothing I don't like. I think whenever we have long meetings, that's what I don't like because it takes you out of focus on what you're doing and you have to refocus things. But my boss is a really good, job preventing us from being in a lot of meetings, fortunately. <laughs> How can I improve my memory to remember functions? What helped you beat a dev you are? By building, uh, being repetitive and building the same things over again, building the same thing in a different way, building harder things. That's how you remember functions. That's how you remember anything, to be honest. How much do you wait on a problem you don't understand before asking for help? I got in trouble for this because I tend to wait too long, actually. Um, so what I do is that um, I had a meeting with my boss and he told me, you know, like, if a problem that should take 10 to 15 minutes, if not an hour or two to get done, if you don't get it done by then, then ask for help. I used to wait days. I used to wait a week, if not longer, and that's not good at all. Um, I had to build the confidence and courage to do that. And fortunately, I finally been able to. And fortunately, I've been able to solve a lot of the tickets that are given to me now. I go through that too, guys. <laughs> uh, stretches you do when sitting, working for a long time. Uh, I have a stand-up desk, so I literally just like raise my desk, or I actually take a lap around the block or around the office, and that helps me a lot too. I would like to know how you break up your day. Um, it's literally just, I code all day, man. Unfortunately, I'm able to like listen to music or I have like YouTube videos playing in the background, but I literally, my boss does a good job again. Uh, we're very lucky to have him where we're able to just relax and code and give a, you know, we're given like reasonable time to get a project done and that's great. How nervous were you when you interviewed for your first job? Very nervous. And it was crazy because it got hired on the spot on my first interview. <laughs> so someone's asking about how many breaks are given. Um, uh, there's not really breaks given. We're responsible in taking our breaks and when we need it. So I take breaks whenever I need it. What percentage of your day consists of writing code? I would say half, if not less, maybe 25%. Most of it is thinking of how to solve the problem and figuring out what's causing the problem or pinpointing within the code base of where the problem is. Because once you solve the problem, Coding it only takes like a minute, if not a couple seconds, right? So it's easy. Did you quit coding when you first started learning? Hell yeah, I quit once. I remember I quit coding after three months in or two months in, and then I didn't code again for another six months. Then I went back into it. And then when I learned code for another three months, I got my first job. <laughs> I got lucky. What's the main language you use and what others do you know? jQuery, JavaScript, HTML, SAS, CSS, uh, PHP, uh, MySQL, but now I'm really focusing on React.js at home again. How much time do you spend in your office? 40 hours a week. What are you doing after work? Do you code for more than eight hours a day? Hell no. <laughs> um, I'll code for maybe one or two hours and then I'll make a video. But more than anything, I'm spending time with my dog, doing errands, walking my dog, exercising, and playing video games, man, and going on dates. How do you solve a problem if you are stuck? Oh, this is a good one. My battery is about to die on my camera, but let me answer this. How do you solve a problem if you are stuck? Um, you have to first look at what the problem is, and just by looking at it, you have to really think about, first of all, what could be causing it. And when you think about what could be causing it, then you have to pinpoint where within the code base is that problem happening, right? 
But before that, so how, how, the way you find out what's causing it is that like a lot, I do a lot of console logs or if I'm working with PHP, I'll do a lot of deeding um, to find out and pinpoint where the bug is. And that's really the main thing to do. But before you can even try to pinpoint that, you have to really figure out what the problem is because there have been a lot of times when I thought the problem was something else, spent five hours on it and it was totally something different than what I originally thought and then that only took a minute to solve. So um, being able to pinpoint where the problem was, but then again, end of the day, getting help if I can't figure it out, which happens a lot. Um, do you enjoy a full day of work or would you rather work remotely? Both. I, I do hope that eventually in the future we could work two days from home because it really helps us out mentally, to be honest. Like going to work is such a joy and being able to work from home too helps out a lot. Um, but I love being in the office, but I also love being able to work from home. So I'm really hoping right now we're from home once a week. Hopefully we could bring that to two times a week and then other days we work in the office. But um, yeah, man, I enjoy both to be honest because I enjoy talking and working with my coworkers, um, having conversations with my boss in the Thursday meetings. Um, but also working remote really helps us refresh mentally to be honest. So I enjoy both equally. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I, there's a lot more questions, but my battery's literally about to die. I don't want it to die before this ends. So um, that's really, there's a lot more to my day when it comes to development. So I'm sorry if I couldn't answer any questions you might have. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the section below, right? And I'll make sure to read all of them and answer every single one of them. It might not happen right away, but I'll try to answer them ASAP, I promise. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much how a day in my life is like. Um, those are things that I do, things I go through, problem solving, etc. I do love what I do for a living, man. I'm very lucky. I know a lot of people want to be in the situation that I'm in right now, and I never want to take this for granted. But yeah, man, if you guys have any more questions, ask below. If you can, please like this video and just let me know your thoughts. Thank you, guys. This is Krishan. This is a Lifeboy Developer, and I'm out. Peace.